Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Review. Today we are going to be reviewing Tiny Epic Western, part of the Tiny Epic uh, game series. This game was written by Scott Alms, as you can see down there. Uh, this is by Gameling Games. You can see here some great showdown artwork in the inside cover there. Uh, now, you will notice the thick card stock that goes all the way around the box and there are some quality components all the way through from the quality here of the bullet dice which are very cool that are used for duels and by the way let me just real quickly say here that we are not doing a how to play rules thing this is a game review of the game what I think of it da 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 because we're going to be featuring a full playthrough as we play the game for you all in a board game Let's Play series that will be called Let's Play Board Game. I want to show off some of the art here on these cards though. These will get doubt around a circle just to tell you all a few of the rules. Um, and as you see, one of the mechanics I like about this here um, are right up here. You will notice placement spots for these little guys. Uh, now there are little risk versus rewards things on these and what's interesting about them is that a lot of the game revolves around strategy. Um, to begin with, you're going to take a boss. Here we have the chief. This is just an example. There are quite a few more of these. I'm just using him to show them off. You see here you have a space for your people you pick uh, whatever color fancies you uh, best for your little posse people and I'll show you some of those in a minute they're really cool looking the one in the big square there gets laid down the other two stand up um, now you will have influence tokens there uh, and they will move along this here bullet rack so everybody has a boss, everybody has that. What else? This is basically a mix of a strategy game that is heavier on strategy than you would think, mixed in with a game that uses a three-card hand of poker to combine both of these elements into a six-round, four-phase game. Here, by the way, is one of your little workers. So you can check them out complete with a little hat. Uh, and what's really cool about this game here is the fact that... I'll show you the whole bag while I'm at it so you can see the nice bright colors here on this. Great stuff there, by the way. Um, another thing that I like that they give you is that so that you know whose turn it is, is the dealer chip. Front and back of that. You have a wanted card that will go in the center. You want this because you will get some extra points for this puppy. And see, uh, you will get those two extra points and you want all the points you can. The goal by the end of the game is to be the biggest and baddest in the West, which you get by acquisitioning buildings. Um, you will get that in a phase where you buy buildings at the end. The four phases are shuffling and dealing, placing your posse or workers, uh, resolving things with your uh, poker cards, which I'll show you in a minute, and then buying what you can. Um, you'll evolve your industry, and as this keeps going on and keeps going on, the game will keep going until the rounds are over and one of you is the best in the West so to speak. Uh, now to show you what I'm talking about here, I'm just going to grab right from the instruction book because it's very cool the way they do this. You can see here that they have a little picture here of the risk boost reward I call it here. So you can land your little person on the exclamation point to get a instant reward or the right side, you have to wait until a later phase for resolution, but the reward's bigger. 
Um, you're open though to having a duel, so there's a little more risk. So it's basically your playstyle. Are you going to be aggressive and go for faster, easier rewards and try to build up that way? Or are you the sort of person who likes to plan your moves and you're going to plan slowly and try to build up from there and hope that you have a chance at building? Um, and while I'm doing this, I'm just going to show you a few of the poker cards. I think these are really cool, by the way, because these are custom. Uh, the suits are. Uh, are you the sort of person who likes to plan a few moves ahead? In this game, because of both of these things, the poker dynamic and the, uh, to me, the buying dynamic, the buildings themselves, each building and each boss have things that uh, make them worthwhile. So see, you can see here on the mission card, uh, you're, you know what, let's even show you, let's show you, uh, what's a good one here? Let's show you the wagon repair. Now you'll see down here, you need a certain amount of uh, influence to buy this if you can beat what's called the rival or house hand. And you're going to play a three card hand similar to Texas Hold'em. But you'll see here each building has a different ability. So you really wanna you really want to be buying these buildings up. Um, there are different buildings, each with different things that they're good at doing, and well what do you want to do if you get more than one? They stack like that. And they will go on your porch. Each person and I'll show you in a minute here what uh, another, let me show you right now as a matter of fact, another piece of land looks like. Say you are the red player here. So you will try to, if possible, place this so that you are here. Uh, you will notice your porch is right over here. So your cards will be up here. Um, now what's cool about this is, say, okay, well, the red player is not playing this game, you flip it right over and boom. Just that easy. What I like about this, however, is that this works uh, for any of them. So say you got somebody who would normally be the green player, didn't pick green, boom. Just that easy, and we're over. And again, we have the instant mercy resolution, which do you pick? As you can see right there, Instant, a eh, little reward, little reward. Resolution, much better reward if you can win it. So it is a game of strategy. Um, I know that most people are going to be sold on the poker element, and that is a good element, don't get me wrong. But I do think it is worth noting here that one of the things in the game that I found most interesting is how much strategy actually goes into it. Now as you progress through the game, these three will move along as well. Uh, and as they do, they represent the three parts of industry. Uh, and at the end of the game, all of this stuff gets tallied up, and only one of you, of course, can come out the winner. Uh, you will see a full playthrough of this. The rules are not difficult at all. Um, there's a lot you can do. One thing that really surprised me when I was watching videos, even on the main website, is how much choice you have. Uh, are you going to risk getting in a duel? Are you going to let a character have a small reward and go for a bigger reward? Well, he's going for the small one. You can really strategize in this game, and that's one thing that I like. Uh, the link for this game is going to be down below. Definitely recommend picking it up. Again, this is part of the Tiny Epic series, but although they call it Tiny, um, it's just the box, I'm telling you. Because you get a lot. You get a lot in this. For such a small game, there's a very big game in here. And there's a lot to do, and so far, 
Uh, everything that I've seen from this company is like this. They do some very big, big stuff and manage to fit it in a very small package. So, I think that name's appropriate. Anyways, I'm Bones. Thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And uh, until next time, you all have a good night.